<laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? It's the Man of Laughs 1940 here, and today we're on my Tim Burton Minecraft Gotham City, and we're going to be touring my Wayne Manor, so I'm very excited to show you guys this. It's taken me a long time to do, and let's get right into it. So, before I show you everything, I'm going to show you the little um, area leading up to the front gate. Huge wooded area. It took me forever to do, just filling it in. It took me ages. I also had this whole side on that side but my friend said it would look way too big and it did it looked absolutely ridiculous like it it was the size of like a mini gotham which is weird so i shortened it on that side so you got a nice little path leading up here nice little detailed path it leads up here curves and then you're at the wayne manor gate the gate of wayne manor so this is this whole wayne manor is the tim burton wayne manor from 1989 Batman 1989 with Michael Keaton. Probably my favorite live action Batman movie, other to the Dark Knight movies. The Dark Knight trilogy, I should say. Um, hugely inspired by a lot of things for this world the animated series, uh, the Tim Burton movies, and some bits of the Dark Knight trilogy I'm going to be adding in. So that's really cool. Um, so, let, yeah, the uh, gate. So this is as accurate as I could get to the gate in the movie. Um, it's obviously just a simple gate, but I, tr I even tried with the gate, and this shot right here is pretty accurate, um, the way this is, is extremely accurate to the shot where you actually see the gate of Wayne Manor, I'm pretty sure there's a picture of Michael Keaton, uh, on the set, and he's standing here and he's like Bruce Wayne clothes, like that, and it's like the exact same shot, which is cool. Let's get in here, you got a little driveway, and it leads to a fountain here so that's really nice I think I'm gonna do up the fountain because it's looking a bit boring I don't know I think I kinda just did it quickly and I think it could be a lot better but getting on to the reveal of the manor let's say I think if you um, if you see my screenshots and my Instagram you've seen it before but not in video though um, here we go this is my Wayne Manor Ooh, tree in the way this is my Wayne, my Tim Burton Wayne Manor so I'm really proud of this I think it turned out really nice, really detailed. My favorite Wayne Manor I've ever built. Um, what can I say? I really, really do enjoy this. Got a nice little American flag up here. And this is as close as I could actually get to doing a replica to the one in the movie. Because the one in the movie is obviously a very odd shape. Shape. I uh, I did the same shape. Um, certain things I fixed, like this side was what it is like here. But on this side, it was like, it's like, the wall here, or like that little chunk of the manor, came to here, right here. So it looked really weird. It looked like badly uneven, and looked like I didn't bother to count it in Minecraft, and it just looked terrible. So I said, "Screw that. Let me just extend it so it looks more pleasing on the eyes." Um. So yeah, let's move on to the side, or let's move on to here, onto this side. It is a very large rain manor. It's long, I guess you could say. Here is like the garage. You got some nice vines growing on it. At the moment, it's not actually a garage. Let me come inside here. It's actually don't have the biggest room to build in here for a garage. So I might just leave it blank. But this is the... I kind of built it like the size it would be in real life. So uh, Coming on to the back, you got uh, vines here. And the side. So on this side, I said, well, it'd be quite boring if I just had it kind of like flat. So I popped out this side and I kind of made it like a balcony here. So this would connect to one of the rooms. And you have a balcony, so that's really nice. Um, a nice huge forest area behind the manor. I decided to do a forest instead of a um, a big backyard because, or like a big um, like tree, or like um, what's it, like hedges and stuff. Because I decided to do that because I felt like it would look really bright and like kind of chippy and like happy, and it would be kind of odd for this style of manor because this is the Tim Burton. Wayne Manor, so it's very gothic, very kind of sad, I guess, so it really wouldn't make sense for a big, bright uh, fucking maze behind the manor, so I think that would look really odd, so I just decided to do a big forest here, some with dark trees and stuff. Um, as you can see, terraforming not done, I still have to do that. Ooh, a bit of cave under there, we'll get to that later. Uh, sneak preview. Get onto this side, pretty nice. I like the way this kind of pops out, it's very detailed. Coming on to the top, Got some nice skylights, some flags, because this is a very castle-y way in manner. You got some chimneys, uh, brick chimneys. 
And, um, yeah, that's the outside to the Wayne Manor, so I think we should be getting on to the inside soon. Let's fly down here and get into the inside. So the inside is the Batman Returns um, Wayne Manor interior. Uh, at least for the main hall it is. Uh, this is pretty accurate. This shot's very accurate, the way it is. Um, with the Christmas tree right here at the like the corner of this shot the way the stairs is and the little pillar here and everything's extremely accurate very proud of this but then when you get to this side it's not so accurate because I thought you know you just don't see the other side so I'm like that's okay I'll just copy this side on that side and it'll make it look nice which it does look nice but then I found out for some reason it's just like a living room with a like a like a couch there another couch there and like a TV just on the floor and with a fish tank there and some books like shoved in the corner so I was like that's really weird and I, I found that out by just watching random Batman Returns clips and after I built this and I was so mad because the fish tank was really like right here and like that wouldn't really make sense it would just look really bad so I said screw that I'm just gonna keep it as it is but if you guys don't like that I will I'll, uh, I'll redo this to make it more accurate so let's get on to. I'm pretty sure this is it for the main room. Oh, shout out to um, the Caped Crusader, 1939. He doesn't really do this stuff anymore, but he did. When he did, he did help me out with some cool wood designs and stuff for like detail for the main hall. And he did help me out with this main hall. So shout out to him. Uh, going on to the room that's connected to this main hall, which is the. Uh, which is the lounge, I guess, which you got a nice TV here, some couches, um, a table with some plants, and just some cabinets and paintings and stuff. So Bruce and Alfred could just sit down here and watch maybe reruns of the Grey Ghost Show. Or they could just chill or watch the news and see what's going on in the world. Um, this is kind of inspired off of like the New Adventures um, kind of living room. Uh, obviously not as cool. And not as detailed because it didn't have enough room, and it didn't really fit, so I decided to change it up a bit and make it kind of brown, I guess. But the floor kind of reminds me of like the Batman Beyond colors, so I guess that could be a little Easter egg to Batman Beyond. So that's quite nice. Um, yeah, this is the uh, living room, so pretty nice. Uh, which side should I do first? Let me do the left side first. So coming in here, you got a corridor, which the whole manor is kind of broken into um, the left side and the right side. So on the left side, they're both corridors, which connects the rooms. So this is the armory room. This is from Batman 89, uh, shortly after the ballroom scene, which I do have the same ballroom. Uh, shortly after the ballroom scene, um, I forget the guy's name. He's also a reporter, and Vicky Vale kind of wander into this place, and they talk about Bruce Wayne saying, oh, he's so rich and all this stuff. And they're walking up here, but they don't even know they're being followed by Bruce, who's sneaking up on them, and they're looking at the armor and stuff. And they come up here and they look at themselves in the reflection. But, um, the armor is white for a reason. Because there's a glitch at the moment. You can't dye armor. Because I would have them red and accurate to the ones that are in the movie. But that's why I just didn't even bother to put armor on some of the stuff in this world. Because they're glitched. So, there's no point. Um, in here you even got the cameras. Like the movie. Because Bruce is watching them through the, um, through the, uh, mirror. They're wa he's watching them through the mirror, which is cool. Uh... Yeah, this is very simple, very nice, very classy, I guess. This is the armory room, so very nice. Coming across here, you got the grand staircase, which is pretty nice. You got a little corridor here. I also got this on the other side, which uh, I like. It's kind of symmetrical, I guess. Coming up here, you got like a little loft area, which is nice, which you can look over and see people going through here, which connects to the kitchen. This is Christmas tree, because this world does take place at Christmas. So that's nice. Um... So very simple, very nice. Moving on. You got a clock here. A grandfather clock. I really do like this design. It's very sleek. It's my own design. Um, very sleek. It's, accu it's accurate to what a grandfather clock would be in real life. How tall it would be. And very nice. Which I'll give you a bit of a sneak preview. Actually. It does work. Really cool. Shout out to CalDragon04 for some of this stuff. He's insane with commands. So... I'll get to that in a minute. Um, what room? Okay, I'll move to the dining room. This is from also from '89, uh, when Vicky and Bruce are having dinner together. They're sitting at this really long table, and it's the whole guy go past the salt. Could you pass the salt or pass that? I know Bruce sits up when he's ages walking down here, and he passes it. 
and they move to a smaller room because this is way too big and then he says actually I don't think I've ever been in this room basically saying that he's so rich that he hasn't even gone in all the rooms in his house but this is the dining room it's really nice um, nice and straightforward I like the uh, these kind of sandstone design I like the way it looks I think it looks nice got a fireplace some lights cake in the middle one's half eaten for some reason um, yeah so this is the uh, dining room something that's also really nice all the rooms connect so here's the armory it connects to the dining room um, the lounge connects to the armory they all kind of connect so you can kind of run through the rooms as well which is nice right across the way from the dining room which is the kitchen which makes sense if Alpha needs to be making food he can just go across or if he needs to get some more wine he'll go across and you got some wine or beer crates like the standard alcoholic drinks that Bruce might need most often that's where here would be but if you wanted to get more special wines or older wines or different beers or alcoholic beverages I guess you, they'd um him or Alfred would go down to the wine cellar which I do have as well which we'll get to later um very nice very straightforward you got a sink here which uh, the water doesn't look that nice you got a mirror uh, and you got a kitchen over here, so pretty nice, very straightforward. I actually got a secret um, Batman bat suit stash behind here, behind the walls. I can actually break these, and you can look through. It's a secret stash. If uh, Bruce ever needed an extra suit, so that's really cool. Um, so yeah, this is. I think this is this side done for one last room. Here's the Batman Returns room. This is from a scene where. Bruce is sitting down on the couch, and the uh, bat signal shines through the window here, and it shines on the back walls. So that's really cool, and it works because there's a mirror on top of the manor, which shines into a mirror or a window behind um, this room. Uh, say a window behind this room, which shines through this window, which shines onto the back wall. So that's really cool. Um, I got two entrances to the back cave in here. Um, I'm just going to say them. you got the Iron Maiden entrance, which works. And you got the uh, 66 bookcase entrance, which also works. So really cool. Cool commands. Again, Call Dragon 04. Um, he, he doesn't have any uh, social media. He has a Twitter, but other than that, he doesn't really do YouTube anymore or stuff like that. So I can't really leave a link to anything. But if he did, I would. Um, moving on, going upstairs on this side, you got the bedrooms. Yeah, you got the bedrooms. Uh, this is the loft. The loft area connects up here to the second floor. This is Bruce's room. Pretty nice. Very simple. You got a bed here. A couch with a little uh, glass table. A uh, cool a cool table design, which I'm pretty sure I stole off the internet. Um, an old-fashioned TV with some antennas, because this does take place in the 90s, this world. Got some salmon ladders. Close the closet. You got a closet. Some salmon ladders, which he hung upside down in 89. Because Vicky woke up and he, he was just hanging upside down sleeping, I think. Which is strange, but yeah. Uh, you got a little uh, bedside table, I guess. And these things, they're called sea pickles. Which I didn't even know they were in the game, being honest. Which I found them one day, and I thought they looked like candles. And I think they look like maybe green candles. So, that's cool. Got some chandeliers, uh, paintings. Um... And the cool thing is all these rooms have an attached bathroom. So you got a toilet with toilet dispenser. Uh, toilet roll dispenser, I mean. You got a sink. A little uh, place where you could put stuff. A little counter place. And a shower. Some lights. So the shower is very basic. Nice. So that is Bruce's room. Nothing too fancy. For a billionaire, nothing too fancy. Uh, let's go to Dick Grayson's room. Here's Dick Grayson's bedroom. I think this looks a lot nicer. Let me close this. I think it looks a lot nicer in the eyes. I just think it's laid out better. Uh, you got yellow carpet for Robin. And a smaller, nicer bed. Uh, books. A two, way too big TV for the time. Uh, cabinet. Or, not cabinet, closet. A lamp. Some tables. And a bathroom here. Very simple, straightforward. But nice at the same time. And next we got the last, but yeah, the last bedroom. You got Alfred's bedroom. Very small, kind of cramped, but I kind of like that for Alfred. I say he wouldn't want a huge bedroom. You got a nice fireplace, because the only thing Alfred does other than make Bruce sandwiches is stare into his fireplace for hours upon hours. So that's nice. Uh, you got a table here. 
uh, books because Alfred loves reading. Uh, more books. A closet because Alfred likes jumping into closets. Um, here you got a bed, so that's very nice. Uh, it's not as big as the others. It's a very small bed. And you got a connecting bathroom. Very simple, but very straightforward and nice. I like it that way. So that's the left side done. Very nice. Um, back connecting back to the uh, main hall, of course. Now let's go on to the other side. This uh, this side's my favorite, just because I think the nicest rooms are on this side. This is the ballroom slash games room from 89. Now I do have one complaint about this room. Uh, the one in the movie is quite crap because it's uh, this is supposed to be a this is supposed to be a um uh, a ballroom. Sorry, it's supposed to be a ballroom, which I think this is way too small to be a ballroom. But you know, whatever. So I just I like to call this the games room because you got some like gambling tables and you think you play games and stuff in here when Bruce is like s um ooh, socializing with uh guests and stuff. So. Yeah, I call this the games room. Very nice. This is as accurate as I could get to the movie. I decided to make it a slightly bigger because the one in the movie is very cramped. It's like here, the walls like here. That's ridiculously small. I just looked bad, so I decided to make it bigger. Still very accurate to the movie. Very nice. Um, this obviously connects to the lounge. It also has this uh, separate kind of corridor here. So if you want, if you don't want to go out the front way, Bruce kind of if you need to make a phone call. If someone needs to make a phone call, they can come out here and make a phone call. So that's very nice. Um, this reminds me of like Arkham Origins, like a quarter that'd be in Arkham Origins, like the main, the Wayne Manor, because the couch. I think it's just. I think this corridor really looks nice. It's detailed, pretty nice. But yeah, uh, this connects to here, and let's get to some of the, my favorite parts. So here is, um, I guess you could say the grand staircase. I guess, but. Uh, this actually connects to the wine cellar. It comes down here, and you got the wine cellar. Come back up here. This is a little loft area up here. So this is the grand staircase. This bit, and you got like a loft overlooking a little corridor here. Uh, you got a nice Christmas tree, um, and these all connect to the library. So this is very nice in here too. A huge Christmas tree. Lots of I like like a big space for Bruce. Here's a little table that he could sit at, read books or study. Um, you got a mini model of Gotham down there, and you got a way up by a ladder to get up to this little level, and you got more books up here, so very nice, nice chandelier design. Very simple, very straightforward, but also very nice. I think that's a theme for my manor. Very um, straightforward, but also very, very nice. But um, let's go up to the second floor. Second floor up here is more for connecting rooms. This connects to... Um, this connects to this is the lo um sorry this is the loft area. This connects up here to the second floor, and the second floor connects to up here the kind of balcony area. So that's nice. Yeah, now to the best bit about this side though, definitely hands down the wine cellar. So that's nice. Um, little secret about this world, I keep all my stuff, all my hidden stuff in here in this crate, so it's like some swiftness and, or stuff I need to build, I always keep in there, so that's cool. Come down here, you got the wine star, heavily inspired off, off of Arkham Origins, if you guys have ever played the Cold Cold Heart DLC, so, very kind of claustrophobic, but really nice old school style, so it's very old. Now here you got the wine cellar, so this is really nice. It's really, really big. Um wine kegs, of course. The whole wine or beer. Uh very old, very kinda dingy kind of style. It's kinda dark here too. I like that. Um In here you got like some big crates that are of like say beer and they're kinda closed off, but I did put crates and stuff in them. I even detailed that, so that's really cool. Um uh, and you got the staircase, of course, leading down because you need a way to get down. So you got like this kind of old school style staircase, and then we got where the wine cellar entrance would be. And I'm gonna show you this in a second, just in a second, because I'm almost. This is the last room, uh, the last area of the wine manor to show off. Um, so yeah, you're on the bottom floor down here, and this connects to the tasting room, which is very cool. I like this. It's very. It feels very old, very kind of dark and stuff. I like the way it looks. Very cool. Got a couch where Bruce and his friends could taste wine or something. Um, little crates hold alcohol stuff. Fireplaces, 
very nice down here. I like the way it looks. Shout out to um, the Grey Ghost 1992, or you might know him as the Red Bat. He also helped me out with some things. He did the uh, little piston designs here, so shout out to him. Uh, awesome guy. This is my favorite part, because this is where we're going to get to the Bat Cave from. That, and I'm going to show you all the other entrances. This is um, the wine cellar entrance. Really cool. Sadly, you couldn't pull down the little barrel here, which this is what this is supposed to be. Sadly, I couldn't do that, but what I could do is press this, and it slides open. Really cool. Do it again to show you guys. But shout out to CalDragon04. He's the one who did all this stuff. All the commands in this world, shout out to him. So let's, let's quickly go back and show all the entrances, and let's get to the juicy bits, the back cave, man. Let's get to that. Um, here's the clock. So, as you can see, opens. I love the way this looks, and the way it slides open. It reminds me of the new adventures, the way you, the door slides open, you can see the cave. Um, you got the iron, this is the iron main entrance, just the f like a, a bigger fish tank. I decided to do a bigger fish tank, so it would actually work. Um, you press the, this, which this is supposed to be like a little mini model of Wayne Manor. Press this. And if you stand in here in time, it'll teleport you. See? Very nice. Let me get back up here, though. Um, and this is another one of my favorites. This is the 66 entrance. So press this, and it slides open just like the show. Dick Bruce. Very cool. And then it should slide back. So, yep, slides back really cool. Show that one more time. And also, the way it opens and the way, like, the actual where the poles are, I designed it like the show, too. So, that's really cool. So, let's get to the clock entrance and let's actually get to the back cave. So, we'll open up here. Come down here. You got a nice little tunnel here. Very moody. And then you're in the kind of main back cave tunnel. All the kind of entrances connect to this tunnel. Very nice. That's where the uh, Iron Maiden entrance connects. Go, you go down the elevator there. Um, this is the clock. It's very moody, very dark, dingy. I like it. Put a lot of detail into this corridor with the kind of stalagmites, I think they're called. Um, the kind of cracks in the floor and all that. Um, here's the main elevator going down to the bat cave. This is the bat poles here. Because this is kind of like an old way that you probably wouldn't use. So this connects to the bat cave, which this is already opened. Probably someone's been down here. Oh. And you're in an elevator shaft here, so I made a big old elevator shaft. You drop down here. I put some slime blocks so you don't. You can actually jump down. I'm showing off a lot of cave there. I gotta be careful. And I uh, one thing before I show you guys the terraforming on this, I'm really proud of. But this is my Batman Returns Bat Cave. I am really proud of this. Just for the terraforming alone, I'm really proud of this. Another huge thing I'm proud of this is the how accurate it is to Batman Returns, the movie. It's very accurate. Um, I like the way I had enough space. I th originally, I thought I wasn't going to have enough space, but it actually turned out to be massive. Like, this cave is huge. Um, I did this mostly by myself. I had a tiny bit of help with the Red Bat. He helped me out with this little area, the way it pops out there. He helped me out for like 5 minutes or 10 minutes, but that was it. And the rest of the cave was all me. Very proud of this. Um, let's start off with the Batmobile area over here. You got my very own 89 slash returns Batmobile design. I love this thing. I really do. You got the bullet on the front. Which kind of blends in with the, the way this kind of pops back. Like the stairs. So I think that looks nice. Going on to the side. Very nice. Very sleek. Very much reminds me of the 89 Batmobile. You got the red lights. This spits out fire as well. Just like the movie. Um, you can actually get inside it too. It's usable. You can get inside. Uh, these things over here, these are supposed to be like crates. But in the movie, he's got like some crazy ass like glowing crates with like lights in them. So that's what these are. Uh, they could be parts of the Batmobiles too. Uh, he's got like these blue lights on the floor as well. So I added them in the right places. I might add as well, just like the movie, like where they are in the movie. Here's like an area where um, 
stuff to fix up the Batmobile, so you got spare bullets for the front. That's what those are. Uh, these are crates. Maybe sp um, these could be like spare tires. Um, this could be something like an engine, maybe, because I like the way it kind of moves. It looks like an engine, like pumping. So this could be an engine to the Batmobile, and these just could be holding things. Um, this, uh, in funny thing, is in the returns, because this is the returns cave. He has these weird fan thingies, or like antenna things, and they look really cool, and I think it turned out well in Minecraft. It's based, this is what it is, basically. It looks exactly like this in the movie. He has a ton of them all over the cave. I don't know what they do, but I like to make a joke that they're a fan, in case it gets warm in the summer in the bat cave. So, this is for Bruce if he's getting a bit sweaty in the bat suit. Especially Robin in those tiny whities. Um, tidy whities. Uh, <laughs> this is the, uh, this is the wine cellar entrance. This is cool. It's huge. I like this, the way this looks. Very big, very detailed. Dark. Dingy. This is the wine cellar. Very nice, detailed. Comes out right next to the Batmobile. Very useful. Um, there is a way that you can get from here all the way up to here, like a safe way, by using stairs and ladders and stuff, but if Bruce was in a rush, or if Dick Grayson was in a rush, or Batman and Robin, they could literally jump the gap, because the gap is jumpable. There you go. Very jumpable. I don't think Alfred would do that jump, but hey. You got the uh, back computer here. Very nice. A lot better than the 89 slash returns back computers, because they're really just TVs like stacked on top of each other, and monitors. They don't look the best, and they're very weird looking. And they'd be like one block kind of things, and they'd be all stacked on top of each other, and look really dumb. So I decided to make a cool back computer, change it up a bit. That's that area. Um, coming down here, which I like the way it connects with the stairs. Coming down here, you got the med bay area. In the movie, you can't really tell what this area is, so I made it into a med bay. These things are accurate to the way it is in the movie, like these things. But I decided to make them into med bay. You got a fan in here, just like the like uh, fan, yeah. An antenna thing, just like the movie. You got some stuff that would fix up Bruce or Dick or anyone. You got a little pod here to heal someone or to monitor them. Monitor them. You got a computer here. Um, some weird colored command blocks. I don't know what these are. They're just some sort of command blocks. Thought they looked cool to put them there. And this comes down here to a little area with some more crates. I'm gonna add the bat suit here when this video is done. If it turns out good. So you got a ladder coming up, and that connects to the Batmobile area. For my series, which I am doing, really excited about that, guys. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be great if it turns out properly. I got a podcast coming out shortly when you're watching this. Coming out shortly. I did it with the Grey Ghost 992, or you might know him as the Red Bat. One of my good, good friends. Amazing guy. I did it with him. Very interesting video. We just talk shit for about an hour. And I talk a lot about my series in great detail. So go over to that and watch that. Really cool. We talk about everything. We talk about... Batman, personal stuff, um, stuff that's going on at the moment with Batman, I think, and we talk about movies, and we talk about, of course, probably you guys might be excited about it, my series, which I'm, I'm writing at the moment, it's a Minecraft Batman series, I go into great detail, I announce what the title is, uh, and I, I announce some roles that are already taken, um, and stuff, so that's really cool. So, I'll, I'll have a, the Discord link to my server in the description, so go over there and join it, and you can actually help me out with my series and voice act if you want. Um, you just have to join the server and maybe audition, and uh, you could help me out in the creative, or not in the creative process, you could help me out with the uh, behind the scenes, I guess, if you guys are interested in that, go, uh, go follow my server, or go join my server, I should say, my Discord server, really cool, series is really awesome so far. Uh, it's turning out great. Very positive responses from people have showed it to, so very excited about that. So go watch the podcast to get more info on that. Um, but yeah, that's about it. This is the Bat Cave, and I showed you the manor upstairs. Really, really a big Bat Cave. Very nice. My favorite Bat Cave. Most detailed I've done. The best I've done. And uh, shout out to all my good friends the Caped Crusader, 1940, uh, the Red Bat 0465, or you might know him as the Grey Ghost, either or. Um, or the opposite way, uh, the Bat1926, and many others, go check out, uh, Bat of Gotham, really cool guy, his series is coming out soon, or his episode 4 is coming out soon, so go check out his series, it's pretty good, um, 
yeah, also, you know, Gotham Bat, I'm sure you've heard of him, um, cool guy, go, uh, go subscribe to him, and he's, BVS movies coming out soon, so that's something to get excited for. But thank you guys for watching. This has been the Man of Last 1940. I'll see you guys all later.